Well, coming home today, I um, pulled into the driveway and was going to pull over behind the house to plug my truck in because it's pretty cold. It's uh, wet and rainy out here. And um, so I come in the driveway and I had a little bit of an accident. Um, so, see these marks here? Drive, uh, this road around back house here is really wet. By here, I'm standing on my brakes. Nothing's happening. And by here, I've hit the fence post. And you can see where I just kept sliding the whole entire way. Over here. I don't think I could have been any luckier because the place at which I hit the fence post was with my lug nuts. Okay, now see how much room is in there? Look at how close I missed the bumper by. Now, you can see on the post here, there's my tire, and there's where the lug nuts hit. And yeah, that's pretty close. So I'm going to attempt to back up here. I know nothing's going to happen, so next I'm going to try with this stupid little tractor. But yeah, so this one's good. I've been having trouble with my brakes when it's wet lately. They act really weird. Um, sometimes it feels like just the front brakes are working, and then other times I can just tap the back brake pedal and the rear end will lock up. It only does it when, it when it's wet or it's really humid outside, and I have no idea why it does that. And the reason I think I slid this far was that my fronts were locked up, but the backs, the rears weren't doing anything, and they just pushed me this entire way. Because if you come up here, you can see where I started to slide. And so as soon as I came around this corner, I started giving a little bit of break. And of course, that didn't help because I was turning, and then I was standing on the brake here. Fronts were locked because I slid all that way, and the rears were doing nothing. So, um, yeah, let me close this door and see if I can back up at all. I have a feeling that's not going to happen because, I mean, I can just step on the ground here and slide around. But, I'll give it a shot. The side here. So I know this is probably a really stupid idea here, but I can't find anything right now to put this chain together with. So I'm simply using this lock on one end here, and it should just get jammed up there with the trailer hitch. And then we'll attach this to the tractor. So it's going to be a little diesel tractor versus a very big diesel truck. Now I've got to find some way to secure this chain. I think they'll all be in there somewhere. That's not going to fit. This will be something to run through there. Alright, so I've done the best of what I have. I don't have a tow strap like I should. Um, especially being a senior in high school and having a two-wheel drive truck that's even more of a reason but you know what can I do um, so I think my bumper may now be touching the post I can't really tell but so time to see if 18 horsepower of pure Yanmar diesel can pull out of uh, this all right so this one doesn't look Why like she's because this is what this is it makes a good video to share with people at my embarrassment all right so this one is going to give it just a little bit of throttle you understand what that means right yes yeah just actually at first just put it in reverse okay. and don't give it any gas okay? okay 
And what you want to do is just drive straight. Let's see how the steering wheel is now. Just leave it close to that, okay? Backing up, okay? Don't die! Alright, so I have the biggest smile on my face right now because my tiny little Yonemar tractor managed to pull the truck out. Um, yeah, it's a little muddy. I just torn off the yard a bit and got up some ruts where I stomped on the diff lock. And yeah, so I kind of made a mess here, but I think that was pretty cool. It was very stupid because you can see where I just kept sliding, sliding, sliding. And kind of hit that, but. The only damage to my truck appears to be it's a little dirty. Well, not that's not even dirty, really. Just a little muddy. And I probably scratched my mirror a bit from where my sister right there um, hit it with the fence post, but I just kept going because I just wanted it out of there. But yeah, I'm very impressed with that little tractor. I'm glad I had that thing around. I'm glad it's four-wheel drive. And I think that's enough excitement for me. This is my first time actually getting that truck stuck. It's my first time getting anything stuck besides like a riding mower. Um, and from now on, I will definitely have a tow strap with me because the way I rigged the chain up is pretty stupid. And next time I'll be smarter and I'll keep my two-wheel drive truck on the grass. Not just wet grass, just the dry stuff. And well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my embarrassment and stupidity here. And uh, yeah, hopefully I won't be getting a video like this anytime soon. <laughs>